the departure of Saint Kyriakos. On this day, the Holy Father, Saint Kyriakos, departed. This driver was brought up in the city of Corinth in Greece. He was the son of Orthodox Christian parents who taught him the church subjects. They brought him to Abba Peter, Bishop of Corinth, who was his cousin, and he ordained him a reader. Kyriakos read continually and searched in the interpretations of the Holy Scriptures until he surpassed many in it. Abba Peter appointed him to read, the, to, read to the people in the church and to him in his cell, and he was pleased with him. He, when he was eighteen years old, his parents asked him if he wished to marry, but he refuses. But he refused. He asked them for permission to visit one of the monasteries in order to be blessed by the saints therein. He continued to visit the monastery from time to time and he longed for the monastery garb. He went to the holy city Jerusalem and met its bishop, Abba Kirill. He presented to him his wish to become a monk. Abba Kirill approved his wish and prophesied of him, saying that he would be Become a great father who would have many accomplishment, accomplishments and many souls would be enlightened by his teachings. He blessed him and sent him to the great father of Timus, the father of the monks of Palestine. Father of Timus accepted him with joy and put the garb of the monk in, on him. He handed him to one of the elders of the monastery who taught him the ways of worship and revealed to him the artifices of Satan. Abba Kyriakos lived a victorious life with much, with much asceticism besides humility, godliness, and devoutness. God bestowed upon him the gift of healing. He healed all those who came to the monastery with all kinds of sickness, sicknesses of, or infirmities. His virtues and his holiness spread everywhere. This holy man accompanied Abba Kirill, Bishop of Jerusalem, to the ecumenical council of the 150 that gathered at, Constantin that gathered at Constantinople. Because of Macedonius, the enemy of Holy Spirit, Abba Kyriakos opposed him, opposed his arguments, and finally his, and finally him by evidences and proofs. He departed at a good old age. The Lord made manifest from his body after his departure many signs and miracles. His body still rests in one of the monasteries of the, of the city of Jerusalem without any change of corruption to the extent that anyone who sees him today, who sees him today would think that he just died uh, only a short time ago. More than Seven year, seven hundred years have passed from the time of his departure till he, till the writing of his biography. He lived at the time of Theodosius the Great in the latter part of the fourth Christian century. His intercession be for us, Amen. On this day also, Saint Athanasius and his sister Irene departed. They suffered many tortures at the hands of Maximianus. When he failed to turn them to turn them away from their faith in Christ, he ordered to cast them into the into an empty pit, into an empty pit, and to shut over them, wherein they departed. Their intercession be with us, and glory be to our God forever. Amen.